Josh, where you at, nigga? I say, Mikey nigga, where you at? Uh -huh. Seen the bad little show that I ever had. She got them hips, got my eyes on her laps. In the face of a goddess, I can't even cat. Gang keep on talking, I ain't hearing nothing. Whole time when they dream about grabbing that ass. Now when these little niggas, baby, I show you I'm different. Now I know you deeper than I. I pick a spot, we could come to, we drop the top. Of the sunroof, tell me your thoughts. I wanna get to know you. What can I do just to make sure you comfortable? Show you the blocks that I used to run through. She grabbed that eye, she tryna put me on. I wrap my arms around it. She started singing, telling me this a new favorite song. It go like. Okay, so we at Princeton right now, and this is kind of unexpected. I kind of just Googled this shit today, and like, I always thought it was so far. But I found out this shit was actually like, just a couple minutes from my crib, so you know, we about to see what they got going on over here. All right, so you see it, we at the bridge right now. How much y'all wanna bet this shit haunted? Niggas was having sword fight battles right on that bridge. Nigga would chop the nigga arms off. Then just throw him into the water. 30 years later, this nigga walking across the water at midnight trying to scare them. Alright, so now for me, welcome to the voiceover part of the video. Shout out to all my niggas real quick. Shout out to my nigga K Lo. What it do, baby? Yeah, nigga. You see a nigga doing it big out here? All my ladies, hey. You like my voice, baby? I know. I know. Just try to contain yourself, cause you know, shit get wicked out here. Alright, so this how it went. I pull up to the school, you know what I'm saying? I'm just bombarded with all of this architecture, these statues, this landscape, and this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the fuck? Bro, I promise you, I'm just seeing this shit at the same time I'm editing, bro. That's wild. I'm not gonna lie. Nah, but I was just seeing all this for the first time, and I was like, yo. This school was built in 1746. I really wonder what it was like in 1746. Like, bro, if I had a time machine, I would just want to go back in time just to be there to see what it was like in 1746. And, uh... I don't think I really fit in there, you know? Like, I just think it'd be a bad fit, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't really, like, match my, um expertise another thought i had while going here was this just looked like a place that some nigga named cornelius would be at for me i don't know why i just thought that but lo and behold boom my boy cornelius coiler class of 1879 you see it now i'm not an immature nigga but i'm not a stupid one either like you can't tell me that in the 300 years this school was standing Nobody ever got put in a pack either in or around the premises. Like these niggas are literally dorming with ghosts. And if I'm a shorty, I'm sorry. I'm not paying to dorm with ghosts. Like, that's just me. I'm not paying 10,000 extra just so some undead nigga could stand over me while I'm sleeping, motherfucking jacking his invisible ghost meat, nigga. <laughs> Not only do you have to deal with that, you also have to deal with the fact that your school is literally a popular tourist destination, which means, I'll give you an example. So you're on the way to the building to do your exams, and unbeknownst to you is this crowd of people coming in, tourists with these badass kids running around, you got niggas on the steps taking pictures for their wedding, taking pictures for their busted ass Tinder profile, all type of shit. It just seems like a headache that nobody wants, you know? Now this is the part where shit got crazy. Niggas was pulling up to this shit like, oh my god, it's so cool, man. Like, it's like the Chinese New Year, all the statues and animals. Dude, take a picture of me real quick. You wanna know what I saw when they saw all this amazing shit? I saw the heads of different animals on a stick forming a circle at crossroads. Seeing like some cult shit to me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know much about this school, but um, I just know that when this school was around, bloodletting was a thing. Niggas was getting hanged, beheaded. Nigga, you could pull up to the barber for a haircut and a heart transplant. Nigga, it didn't matter. Niggas didn't care. Even the bathrooms is heated, bro. Like, these niggas is really rolling in that bank.
I'm gonna be honest, lately, life been getting like way like 10 times more difficult. Where I'm at, all the way in Central Jersey, as far as the job situation, everything out there is just part-time, can't find nothing full-time. Even if you do find anything, they basically schedule you for like two days of the week. And it's hard to just pay off everything that, you know, is necessary to like live life. A lot of times I just get by as far as paying certain bills. And it's weird because I abandoned the safest option, the safest route, the more stable route, which was me actually becoming an electrician like I went to school for. I abandoned it for my dream of doing music. And it's like ever since I've abandoned it, everything understandably has gotten way harder, way more difficult. It's a lot more stress, man. Like, and I try not to be that guy who's out here just asking people for things because I grew up with those people. And I see how me asking is taking from other people and could be affecting other people's lives. Like, I done seen family members that was broke, literally giving money to other family members. And it's like, they were all asking each other for money. And I'm just like, bro, like, you're all, you're all struggling. You can't pour from an empty glass. I don't know, man. A lot of times I sit here and I question whether I'm gonna make it or not, bro. Shit ain't up to me. I can only do so much. Put in the work that I'm supposed to do. And then even then it's up to the most high, you know? It's, uh, it's more of the uncertainty that scares me. You know, you sit here some days and you just don't know where your life is going. I talk to my boys, for me, through the phone, but it'd be like, they dealing with their own shit in life. So I try not to even burden anybody with the responsibility of giving me guidance. I guess this is my venting to the camera. It's my way of dealing with this shit. I don't know. I don't know. I got out far as fuck away from my house and kind of like just pulled up to this park in Montclair that I used to uh, go to. Kind of just a safe space, really quiet, really chill. I get to just walk around and observe nature and shit. I know I'm not looking at the camera a lot, but. <laughs> So, the more it makes sense. Oh it shit, I'm light skin now. Damn. This nigga. Why this nigga dropping? I'm gonna give y'all a quick story time. So boom. A few days ago I was sick as hell. I had I had got some pizza. I had got meat paws. I had got some meat paws <laughs> on it. But I'm Muslim, I don't eat pork. Bro, nigga, you knew that shit was pork. Bro, I like, didn't know that. No, I did. Bro. I did not bro, know. This nigga's a corrupt Muslim, what, bro. bro? Tell, tell these niggas how you a corrupt Muslim, Cause, bro. Cause hell no, I did not know this shit was pork. I'm eating it like everything fine, but I haven't had like meatballs, paws. I ain't had that in bad long. So as I'm eating it, I'm thinking everything cool. Fast forward to 3 a.m. I wake up. I'm like, damn, like my stomach all fucked up. I'm twisting and turning, moving to the side, trying like get in a better position to make sure like. Like, nothing fucked up. It got worse. I went to the bathroom. I tried to shit for like a good hour. Ain't nothing come out. <laughs> so I went back to I lay down. Sweet. My stomach just fucking twisted. Shit started throwing gang signs up. Bruh, I turned to the side, bro. Just throw up, come out everywhere. Like, that shit came out like. This nigga shot to throw up. Like, this yeah, bitch was squirting. That's how that shit came out. Like, nigga. Yeah, that shit came out so fucking crazy. Pause, bro. And then. Fast forward like 30 minutes later, I'm throwing up again. Stop eating pork. How do y'all niggas eat pork, cuz? Yeah, bro. How do you eat pork, bro, nigga? Don't, don't be like, nigga, I don't eat nigga, pork. how you eat pork? <laughs> nigga, I don't eat pork, bro. I'm vegan, Yo, bitch. But how do niggas eat pork, bro? Like, bro, that they, shit is fucked up, they do bro. It, they do it just like you did it, nigga. Aight, right, bro. Aight, bro. Bro, this nigga only. No. Nigga, tell them how you only became Muslim because of dirt, bro. <laughs> Look at this nigga, yo. He's a corrupt Muslim. Yo, bro. why you say that, yo? Bro, they gotta stop this. Yo, you, you, you really, you really, you really believe that? Like all jokes aside, this nigga got the album with the Quran. Yeah, that Dirk was selling big. Qurans and albums in the same package, bro. Had to call me one of those Dirk face on that shit too. <laughs> yo, this nigga is what the fuck? He only got no bitch in that shit to be wildin' like that. <laughs> 
it, the bro. fuck is she wearing, nigga? That's that a lot, a lot burning. Your, your bro, look what she wearing. What's, what's she wearing? Nah, she I can't even see. see. Oh, this nigga. Whoa, bro. This is weird. What's wrong with this nigga, bro? <laughs> you can't, <laughs> bro. He, <laughs> he got uh, problems. Bro. Oh, that nigga's not retarded, bro. Nah, you gotta have to, you gotta have to blur that out, cause niggas get canceled for saying retarded now, bro. <laughs> bro, cancel this nigga immediately. <laughs> Yo, tell me why my teacher said I was like, you got any kids? He talking about some Yeah, I had a kid, he passed But He's one of them little retarded ones like, you know, He had problems he, he, had, he was fucked up He had some type of disease I'm like, oh, damn nah, I was like, uh I, was like, I guess he said that Because he probably thought I was going to make fun of his kid being Dumb I mean, not But autistic I'm like, bro I'm like, bro, that's normal I'm like, damn Why you calling yourself retarded, nigga? Girl. That's fucked up, right? These teachers in Newark, bro He's the whole time he white and look like a crackhead, but I'm like, <laughs> Nigga, what happened to lean on me, nigga? What happened to Morgan Freeman pulling up, saving schools and shit? Don't nobody do that shit no more in the hood. Yeah, Alright, what's poppin', y'all? It's Nas. By the title of this video, y'all can already tell it's going down. For me, we're making a song. Um, the title of this song is titled Miss Lady And it was actually inspired by a little shorty that me and my boys used to go to high school with You know, whenever she would pull up to school, just this fine eyes, dark skin, curls, you know I me? Mean? She would always dress in these classy ass fits And the way she would just carry herself would just make you think like, damn Miss Lady It's just a cool little concept Shouts out to you, if you're watching this, you bad as hell Get at me. And thanks for the inspiration of this song, I guess. Uh, also, one more thing. Y'all might be worrying. Oh, I don't got no shirt on. Oh, I can already hear niggas. Oh, this light skin ass nigga, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, chill. I have no shirt on because my clothes is in the laundry. Yes, I know it's crazy. Why don't you just watch them in between so you don't go clothesless? But a nigga be busy, so. Feel me? I had to make do with what I had. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into the process of the recording this. I'm gonna show you all the beat I chose. Cool? All right, let's get into it. Hold on, let me put y'all niggas on game real quick. What y'all niggas know about that suave though? See, this that shit. Soon as you open it, five niggas in a mariachi band spawning in your room. It's talking about some suavemente, pensame, que quiero sete tus labios, pensandome otra vez. What the fuck is you talking about, nigga? As soon as you step outside with this shit, you snatching every 5'2 bubble butt Latina within a 17 meter radius, nigga. And chop it up right here. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> flex, 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 flex. Hey, no, I'm trying to crazy. You know, you know, Asian. With a style from the 80s. Me or shit. Alright, so I thought my mic was going to work with me, but unfortunately, uh, shit still sound trash because since I'm in a new setting now, I don't really have the studio that I had back in my old crib. So I don't have the um, acoustic padding. So basically the sound's just bouncing off all the walls, going wherever the fuck it wants. And it's nothing I could really do to stop it. So I'm gonna use my cover and I'm gonna see if the vocals sound different. And if they're fixed, then I'm gonna stick with the method. If not, fuck it, I'm just gonna have to scrap it. Okay, so I'm going to use this blanket as sort of in a padding to kind of trap the sound so that it doesn't go anywhere. And yeah, we're just gonna see how this shit go. Trust me, I wouldn't lead y'all in the wrong direction. Uh, I believe I seen uh, Travis Scott doing this shit in like one of the old clips where he, I forgot what song he was recording exactly, but yeah, I seen him doing it. So I just picked it up, started doing it. It helped in previous songs, so we're gonna see if it helps now. It's also very cold in my house now. I set the temperature that way. Just so when I put the blanket over my head and shit, so that I can record, I'm not like steaming in that shit and I gotta come up every five seconds for like cold air, you know? All right, right there. Now we're gonna try this shit again. Uh, flex, 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 flex. Well, hey there, Miss Lady. You driving me crazy. You got the youth of the Asian with a style from the 80s. Man, I switch your fragrance. Swell beauty so ancient. She could teach a queen a thing or two about being a lady. 
Hey there, Miss Lady. I ask you who you think you is, but you know you the shit. Type the what? <laughs> bro, this shit is goofy, bro. I fuck up a lot of times, and I just think too much about it, and I'll be like, bro, I really have a fucking cover over my head, bro. It's funny, bro. It's top of the right here. Yes, flex. And hey there, Miss Lady, you driving me crazy. You got the youth of an Asian with a style from the 80s. Man, ask me your fragrance. Swear her beauty so ancient. She could teach a queen a thing or two about being a lady. And hey there, Miss Lady, will ask you who you think you is, but you know you the shit. The type to walk shit past and hate them bitch like she don't exist. With a head held high, and the face got a grin, and the shades got a tint. The hate bounced straight off her lens. When I first peeped through, tapped my partner and smiled. I